Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, about two years ago, I posted a video showing you how to turn startup apps off in Windows 11. Because as you may well know, and as mentioned in the video, which will be linked down below and in the end screen, disabling unnecessary startup apps from automatically launching and running in the background can help free up memory, speed up boot times, increase battery life, save resources, and ultimately improve your system performance. Now go check that video out if you'd like more info. But just to let you know that Microsoft over on their support website now has created quite an in-depth post and posted um, an article where they show you how to configure startup applications in Windows. And I thought this may be of interest. And especially if you're kind of new maybe to uh, tweaking or um, configuring your PC for optimum performance. And according to Microsoft, um, when it comes to optimizing your Windows device, one of the key optimization areas is the startup process. And obviously, these are the apps that run automatically when your device boots up. And as mentioned, can impact your speed and your overall performance of your system. Now, depending on how the applications are installed and registered in Windows, there are different ways to configure their startup behavior. The first is any applications that are registered in Windows with a startup task can be configured from the settings or from the task manager and other applications can be configured using File Explorer. So how we go about all of this, in case you're unaware, to configure startup apps from settings, we head to our uh, settings app and this is applicable to both Windows 10 and Windows 11. So you click on apps, startup, and yeah, you get a list um, of all the apps that can be um, enabled and turned on and off during the startup. So it says apps can be configured to start when you log in. In most cases, apps will start minimized or may only start a background task. Now, yeah, um, as mentioned previously, if you set the toggle to on, obviously the app will automatically start when you sign in. And if you set it to off, it will prevent the app from starting automatically when you boot up your system. So that obviously, I think, goes without saying in most cases. Now, something else um, you can look at, which is a further process, is you can configure startup applications from Task Manager. So Task Manager provides the same list of startup apps. So for that, we head to our Task Manager. And once again, this is applicable to Windows 10 and Windows 11. Head to your startup apps. And here's your list, your list. So the task manager provides a more detailed view, including the impact each app has on the startup process. So basically, if you want to enable or disable an app, you click on that and here you'll see enable. If you want to disable it, you click on it and you click on disable and you can also do that from the right click context menu either way. And then something else uh, to take note of is when it comes to the startup impact, in case you're unaware, none means obviously startup app is disabled. Not measured, which I haven't got in my case, but if, they, if you see not measured here, that means no data is available to measure the startup app. Startup app is enabled. Low impact means total CPU usage takes less than 300 milliseconds and total disk usage is less than 292 kilobytes. And then if you have a medium impact, like this one, that means total CPU usage takes less than one second, but more than 300 milliseconds, or total disk usage is less than three megabytes, but more than 292 kilobytes. And then if you have a high impact, like Google Drive here, right at the top, total CPU usage takes more than one second or total disk usage is more than three megabytes. So that's how you can kind of check this all out using the task manager. Now, if the app isn't listed, if the app you want to configure isn't listed in the startup list, um, be that in the settings or the task manager, you can configure its startup from File Explorer. So how we do this is, but once again, on both Windows 10 and Windows 11, you right-click on your Start menu icon, you click on Run, and here you enter Shell colon Startup. I'll leave this command um, down below in the description. So that's Shell colon Startup, no spaces, all smalls. 
You click on OK, and this will take you directly to your startup folder. And the, if you see any apps that are listed here as shortcuts, I don't because I've already disabled everything in this folder or, or deleted it. But if you see any shortcuts for apps in this folder that you do not want to run at startup, just delete them. It's not going to do anything to your system. It's not going to delete the app. It's just deleting that shortcut out of the startup folder, meaning that will not be running in the background when you start up your PC. And obviously, if there's any app here, if you see a list of apps here, if there's any app you want to keep, obviously, you do not delete the shortcut. So that's just a quick overview, according to Microsoft, how you can configure startup applications in Windows in case you wanted a bit more of an in-depth approach or maybe you were unaware. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.